Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. In the previous lesson, we focused on networking topologies and Ethernet. In this lesson, we will look into layers 7, 3, and 4 of the OSI model. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss layer 7 application types and protocols. Describe the operation of TCP and UDP. Explain the purpose of ICMP and ARP. Describe IPv4 header. Let us begin with the three types of Layer 7 application in the next slide. There are many ways to measure the quality of data communications. Delay, jitter, and loss tolerant. Delay corresponds to response time. It measures how quickly a response from input is expected. Jitter refers to the variation in delay. An application can respond quickly to one input, but slowly to another if tolerance for jitter is high. For example, a constant delay on a telephone call is not as annoying as a variation in delay or the jitter involved in the call. If an application is loss tolerant, data losses are acceptable. This assumes, in the case of interactive and batch applications, that the data would be retransmitted. In VOIP and video conferencing, the data would just be dropped. The next slide shows the performance requirements for various Layer 7 application types. The table on the slide shows the main protocols used at Layer 4, which are TCP and UDP. Data from higher layers are broken into segments for efficient transmission. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, is connection-oriented. This means it keeps track of a data flow. Once a TCP session is established, it is maintained until the sender or receiver terminates the session, just like a telephone call. TCP keeps track of segments that have matching source and destination port numbers. TCP also provides reliable transport of the segment. If the source does not receive an acknowledgement that the segments have been received at the destination, the source retransmits the segments. User Data Protocol, UDP, on the other hand, does not provide reliable transport. UDP is faster than TCP because acknowledgement is not required. Also, UDP does not keep track of a data flow. It is a connectionless protocol. Now let us look more closely at TCP header in the following slide. 